Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I have a uh, video covering a few things. Um, I have some skincare and makeup items I purchased at Marshalls and uh, Winners, which is TJ Maxx in the States. And um, my last video I showed you that um, Frank, the tooth fairy, uh, bought me a canopy for the backyard so he uh, he was able to stain the deck the next day. And um, so at the end of this video I'll show you what it looks like uh, all lighted up in the evening. Um, I'm very very happy with it. it looks it looks really nice and um, yeah so excuse excuse this cold sore I actually have a couple on my lips uh, I used to get cold sores all the time and then I just started putting like balm or lipstick on 24 7 uh, before I go to bed I just slather some on and I never got a cold sore but then when I went to the dentist I was on the chair and I was like a fish on the hook for over an hour. And then my skin started breaking down. And um, yeah, I ended up just, uh, the cold sores just started popping up all over. So it's just a complete mess right now. Um, so uh, I actually bought this Blistex um, Lip Medics. Temporarily relieves discomfort of sore lips and restores moisture um, balance. And um, Yes, for cold sore, it could be for cold sores, fever, blisters, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, this stuff feels wonderful. It just has a nice cooling effect, um, relieves that kind of itchiness you get from the cold sores and that sort of thing. So I'm just slathering this on quite a bit uh, the past couple of days. Um, and I also heard good things about this Carmex. I was only able to find it in Rexall, but I've heard good things about it. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to give that a try. It's cherry flavor too, so that's a bonus. And um, yeah, so I'll just start. Um, oh, uh, this uh, dress I bought in Marshalls. Now, July, the discount stores like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and and Winners uh, start clearing up all clearing out all their summer stuff. So if you go now, you'll find a lot of their clothing in that on clearance. So I actually bought this little sundress. And it's actually 100% silk. It's made in Italy. And it was just $20 clearance. So that's the front. It's just nice and flowy. That's the back. And uh, this is the hem. Oop, no peeking, no peeking. Woo! Okay, there's the hem. Just kind of this silvery gray. Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, nice and loose and flowy and very very comfortable and yeah it's just $20 on clearance 100% silk and it's very very soft um so yeah if you need some summer clothes or something there uh, it's a good time of the year to to get some okay so I will start with um I also bought this cushion at Marshall's I've been eyeing this and uh it was quite expensive but uh the compare at price was like $45 or something like that. And uh, I found this on clearance for $10. And it's got all this uh, stitching and beading and I just thought it was so cute. And uh, yeah, I just put this on my computer chair just to support my back a little bit. Um, but yeah, that was a very good price compared to what it was retail. And then, um, so I'll start with a little bit of uh, makeup that I found at uh, Winners. Now, this was, uh, I guess, a holiday limited edition by Maybelline. It's the Icy Glow Eye and Face Palette. I didn't see it come out in Canadian stores, though I might have missed it. Um, now, I did go on YouTube to see if um, the, the reviews for this, and yeah, they were selling it for $20, and that's U.S. prices. Um, so Canadian is going to be more. This was just $12.99. And it's got three different highlighters and then th three different um, sections for the, the eye palette. And, uh, yeah, the, the now this highlighter is a little bit glittery. Um, but these two, oh, they're super, super soft. They're really, really soft. So that's the highlighters. And they're nice and shimmery. They're not glittery at all. They're just nice and shimmery. So these eyeshadows are very icy. Um, 
those are all shimmers. There's one shimmer and those are all mattes. And there's a couple of mattes and two shimmers uh, here. So uh, yeah, I'll have to give that a try. But yeah, that's, a, that's the first time I've seen that. And then uh, if you watch some of my videos before, I do use this Dr. Jacobs Pure Castile Soap for shaving my legs in the summertime. You can use it for shampoo, body wash, you can wash the dishes, you can do laundry with this stuff. So, um, But they changed the formula, so it's two times the viscosity. So before it was quite watery, but um, they've really thickened it up, which is kind of nice. So, um, But yeah, my the razor just glides over this. You just have to put the thinnest, thinnest layer on. Um, so yeah, I really do like this. This one's shea butter. I've had the almond and honey. They got tea tree, uh, the peppermint. I didn't like the lavender scent though, but yeah, these are, um, that's what I usually use to do the old legs there in the summertime. And then I found um, Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. And I do have the matte medium to deep bronzer and I have the Snow Bunny one. So I did find the Sun Bunny. And this is a little more pink toned. Uh, so that's what the outside looks like. So yeah, I thought this would be a good color for me because it's uh, there's a little bit of a pinky note in there. But I thought this would be good for blush too. Uh, not just a bronze or maybe a blush. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very pretty. And then I found the uh, Too Faced Melted Latex. And this is the color Hot Mess. And this is uh, was just $4.99. And I haven't tried this particular formula yet. Um, packaging is quite nice. And that is just a nice, bold, fuchsia color. And then I found the Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow. And this is in $7.99 and this is in the color Thunderstruck. Now they did have a couple of other deeper colors but I thought they were just a little too deep for the lid. Um, but I did like this Thunderstruck color. So it's actually a fairly generous sized pan. Nice and smooth, and yeah, it's just, it's almost like a dual chrome color. I don't know if that will pick up or not. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a, a whitish gold, I guess. It's it's a very, very pretty color. I don't think the swatch there did it justice, but it's just, it's just stunning. Now I have bought this brand before in their iPals W7, and uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the, the best formula. Um, but uh, that was a few years ago. And I, I thought I'd just curious to see if they their formula is any better. And this is in Blazing, which I think is probably the dupe for um, the Urban Decay heat palette. And this is what the colors look like. And I do like the warm colors. And uh, frankly, they do swatch pretty good. Um, yeah, I really wasn't, I was fairly impressed actually. Um, they're not too bad actually, so I, I might try this. I thought I'd just try it again because I really, whoop, I really did like the colors and um, they seem to be swatching okay. Uh, so we'll give this a try. This is a British company, this um, W7. And then I found a new uh, skincare brand, and it's uh, by Feel Free. So I try to look it up online, but there's a lot of skincare companies that are called Feel Free, so I couldn't really find the online price for this. Uh, but this is a facial cleansing milk, and it contains jojoba oil, olive oil, chamomile extract, and aloe vera. And uh, yeah, the packaging is quite nice. I always like when they got this little wood-like. Um, tops and this was just $5.99 uh, again um, just with the packaging of this other it just looks like it's probably fairly expensive and this um, 
This expires April of 2021. So yeah, um, like I said, not everything's old and expired in these stores. Uh, and um, this is the anti-aging serum. So I always put serums on before my moisturizer. This is uh, hyaluronic acid, pomegranate oil, argan oil, and oat extract. And this was $7.99. And yeah, it has this frosted glass and then this wood-like kind of top. So yeah, um, online I'm sure it's, it's quite a bit of money. Um, but yeah, and this expires April 2021 also. So yeah, um, I'm sure I'll get that used up before then. Um, but yeah, just kind of rubbing it on my hands and that. This absorbs very nicely, leaves your skin nice and smooth and soft. And so I'm looking forward to trying that uh, brand out. And then I tried the Shea Moisture. I tried their uh, mask and they had the styling cream and I really, really like them. Um, and uh, this is $6.99. Um, I've only been able to find it in Winters and Marshalls. I know in Ulta they sell the Shea Moisture. This is the Extra Moisture Transitioning Milk for dry damaged hair. So you put it, you, you wash and condition your hair, then you put this in. It's like a leave-in conditioner. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying these Shea Moisture hair products. And this is by Alafia. Um, and I tried their shampoos and I really do like them. So this is a texturizing spray, coconut and sea salt. Uh, so I thought it would be a little bit drying with the sea salt, but it says it is hydrating. It's for normal to dry skin. So I just like to add some texture to my hair. So having one big frizz ball, I like to kind of texture it and make it look kind of piecey. And, um, yeah, this, and this smells very, very nice. And what I like about this company is they take part of their proceeds and they help out villages um, in West Africa. So they, they give bikes to students, they build school benches, they fund births, they plant trees, um, they donate glasses, they construct schools. So um, yeah, part of the proceeds do go to a really good cause and um, I love their shampoo. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. And then, um, Last but certainly not least, I got some books, and uh, yeah, I just I love books. So I found a couple of these in Costco, and this is called The Bookshop of Yesterday. And this is by Amy Meyerson. So this woman in here uh, grew up um, when she was young. Um, her uncle owned a bookstore, and she was always going through it, and he had these treasure hunts and that sort of thing, and then when he passed away, he... Um, and she inherited the bookshop and um, she found find some mysterious notes and um, so it's kind of a mystery in that but I love books I love going in a bookstore I can lose myself for hours in a bookstore so um, yeah and it's gotten some excellent excellent reviews so yeah looking forward to that one and this is the book of M and so basically what happens here is um, in India, man's shadow disappears. Uh, science can't explain it. He's the first one, and then it spreads like a plague. And um, in Virginia, this man and his wife try to escape. And um, anyway, I, it's, it just sounded very, very interesting. Um, so that's the book of M. And this is uh, The Keepers of the Library by Glenn Cooper. So he's had, I think, three other books um, and this is just uh, continuing uh, the, the series and uh, it kind of goes back and forth from England into some 1775 um, and then um, it's based on this uh, FBI agent and um, he finds out that the world's going to end on a certain date and there's a list of people who will survive and anyway it's it's far-fetched but um it's it's hard to put down and this is the travelers um so there's a travel writer and his uh, his wife um and it's just uh basically looks sounds like a conspiracy 
uh, theory and uh, he stumbles upon it and um, yeah it's gotten some excellent excellent reviews so I thought I'd uh, I'd check that one out so so that's it yeah that's my little haul and um, yeah so I'll insert a little video of my little outdoor oasis as I call it and um, I'll put that in now so I I hope everyone's having a wonderful summer. Uh, the uh, humidity finally broke yesterday with that storm. And uh, yeah, so it's much more comfortable uh, today. So yeah, uh, I hope everyone's uh, keeping well and I hope your families are doing well. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay. So yeah, we got the um, deck all finished up here. Uh, we didn't think we'd get it done this weekend because there was a lot of rain in the forecast, but it was just a hot, sweltering, humid day. Um, even just standing outside doing nothing, you can just feel the sweat dripping down. So, um, But Frank, uh, he was able to stain the deck. And uh, yeah, so we went out shopping yesterday. We found this rug. I wanted a, a dark red rug and I didn't think I was going to find it. But luckily we did find one. And then uh, we purchased these um, cushions. And yes, they got little birds on them. And I really wanted some bright colored cushions out here. Nice and bright and happy and cheery colors. And uh, yeah, I just love the little birds on them. So cute. And then we were able to find this light. Now I want it kind of a chandelier style, but they um, there wasn't a lot to choose from this time of year. But this one is black metal, and then it has a copper finish inside. And it's just bright enough to be able to read here. And then I remembered when I got home uh, that I had this candle holder that I purchased in Marshalls at, um, I think it was around Christmas time, and it has black metal on the outside and then copper on the inside, so it um, kind of matches the lamp. And then inside, uh, this is the Pure Radiance Yankee Candle in the Fragrance Whisper, which has absolutely no scent, so it's been demoted to an outdoor candle here. And yeah, um, I'm really happy with it. It's just, it's almost like a, an extra room. And uh, yeah, it was just a little too hot to stay outside too much today. So I um, didn't use it too much. Um, oh yes, these little lights here. Um, I found these lights. Um, they look like little mason jars. And uh, I think they look like mason jars filled with little fireflies. That's what it reminds me of when I was young we would uh, get the mason jars and fill them up with some fireflies if we could catch them um, so yeah I thought those were really pretty cute there so anywho uh, yeah so that's uh, that's our little outdoor space and uh, yeah I think uh, we're really going to enjoy it and um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you soon.